Hi and welcome to the Apple videos. In this video we're going to take a look at performing backups of your phone. Now the question that you may be asking is why do I need to back up my phone? Well in the old days when you stored everything in your phone a lot of people would have to write down the numbers manually in case their phone got lost. With today's smartphones what you can do is actually back up the contents of your phone like you would a computer and this saves you from having to write everything down manually. There are two main options when it comes to backing up your phone. The first option is using iTunes on your computer and connecting the phone to your computer and running the iTunes software and backing up manually that way. Or you can use iCloud and log in with your Apple ID and have iCloud just automatically back up the contents of your phone. There's no right way or wrong way to do this. It just really depends on your setup. So for example, I don't synchronize with iTunes on my computer very much. And as a result of that, I set up my backup to be done with iCloud. That way, should anything happen to my phone, I can just simply connect to my iCloud account with the new phone and all of my relevant data will be restored. However, if you're the kind of person that connects to iTunes on your computer regularly to synchronize music and videos, then you may as well perform a backup while you're there. With iTunes, you also have the added advantage of it backing up your apps iCloud doesn't back up your apps and in fact iCloud doesn't back up anything that is available from iTunes or the App Store because from Apple's perspective you can just simply download those things again anyway so there's no point. Another advantage to performing a backup of your phone is that all your settings and configuration is backed up. So in the event that you have a problem a lot of the time Apple will ask you to back up, reset the phone and then do a restore and that just gives you more or less a fresh phone just to eliminate any possible issues that it may have. Backing up and restoring with iTunes is really quite simple. What you need to do is just make sure that you've got the phone section selected and on summary you will see all of this data here. You can also choose to encrypt your iPhone backup and what this does is it makes it such that you need to use a password to restore your backup thus making sure that nobody else can access your backup. This is particularly useful because if you want to back up your passwords and credit card details via the keychain option in your iCloud you can only do that when you have the encryption setting enabled. But bear in mind, whatever password you do use, make sure that you remember that password because if you forget that password, you simply will not be able to restore your phone with that backup. To backup, all I would do is simply press backup now and then I'll get asked whether or not I want to backup my apps. And this just ensures that when you do a restore from this current backup, any apps that you have on your phone will also be restored, unlike the iCloud backup. This is also different from the question that is going to come up next. You may also get asked to transfer the purchases. And what this does is it transfers the registered purchase from your phone to your iTunes on your computer. It still leaves the app on your phone, but it also has a record of it now within iTunes. And it gives you the ability to plug in a different device, like an iPad or an iPod, and also put that app on that other device. So it's a slightly separate process to simply backing up an app. So we'll just select transfer purchases and you'll see up here that my phone is currently being backed up. Once the sync has been completed, we can just go across here to apps and we can see a number of apps that are currently located on the phone. You'll see that some of these have remove and some have install. And the ones that have the word install beside them are not currently installed on the phone and were included in a previous backup. But this is only really handy if you don't want to go ahead and install the app from the app store, which you can do at any point in time anyway. So this isn't an overly important step. Where it does come in handy is that when you have to restore, it will restore your phone exactly how it was when you backed it up. So it makes it quite easy and efficient to get operational again. Restoring is pretty simple. You would just go over here and select restore from backup and you need to turn off find my phone from the iCloud setting. And that's pretty simple. We just go into settings, go down to iCloud. And if we scroll down, you'll see find my phone is currently turned on. We just need to turn that off. This is where we need to enter our Apple ID or password and then select turn off. Once you've disabled the find my phone feature, it's simply a matter of going and selecting restore my backup. You'll see the current phone here and then select restore. And this will just restore all the settings, all your text message, everything to your phone like it was when you backed up, including your apps, provided you've backed up your apps to iTunes. This may be obvious, but you do need to have your phone connected to iTunes for this to function properly, and you can do that with the cable. And the backup comes from your computer, it's not from the internet anywhere. 
Now from here you'll also have the option of enforcing an iCloud backup. So we would just simply select automatic backup, select iCloud and press apply. And this configures the setting in your iCloud setup in your phone to enable the backup. And like we did previously, you need to go into settings, go down till you see iCloud and then go down again and you will see now that my backup has been turned on. You don't have to use iTunes to turn your iCloud backup on. You can simply go in here and turn it on manually. And this will perform backups automatically for you. You can go in and then force a manual backup by pressing backup now, but that's entirely up to you. Now, regardless of whether you use iCloud to backup your phone, all of these items that have the toggle switched to the green setting will use your iCloud. So effectively they're being backed up anyway. And these items aren't included in the normal backup. So the iCloud backup is more or less for all the settings and features in your phone that is outside of these items that are toggled green. So if you're using the iCloud method to backup your phone and also have your data synchronized across multiple devices, to restore is really, really simple. You would need to reset your phone and you can watch the video on how to reset your phone or if you're connecting a new phone, you would just go through, you would see this screen here, and you would just simply choose the option to restore from iCloud. Enter in your Apple ID, and then simply allow the phone to download everything from the iCloud. Obviously, you'll need to have an internet connection for that to happen, but once that's complete, your phone will operate exactly like it was when you performed your last iCloud backup. And that's the versatility of iCloud. You do not need iTunes in any way, shape or form. You can just do it all independently without needing to connect to a computer. So that's everything I've got to show you on how to back up your phone with iTunes and iCloud and also how to restore your phone with both those methods.